I deliver food at this Chinese place, and the, that's what the boss kept saying. Why? Why are all musicians broke? Why do they? Why do they keep uh, playing music if they don't make good money at it? It really is just you know out of enjoyment to make music that you like and that you want to hear to create that and get it out to have as many uh, records out. You know, records are like your little babies. Every record you put out, it's like your little child that keeps on. It stays there forever too. You always have it. I started to get involved with Nick and Dave around 2011 and uh, started kind of dealing with the operations and the sales, um, selling to record stores and selling uh, to distribution companies and uh, helped get the distribution deal that we have. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, that's, that's what we talked about. Just had to... It was really just going to mom and pop record stores and uh, I was on the road for other reasons and I would just kind of walk into record stores cold and uh, sell 45s and CDs. And uh, then I just met a record store owner who knew the head of a distribution company and um, met them through doing that, through being on the road and, and trying to just walk in cold. The product kind of sold itself. Chinese this organ. Me and Dave Singleton started GD Soul Records in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Um, we uh, we had a radio show called uh, the GD Soul Review. That's really where it all started at MTSU eighty eight point three. Shout out WMTS. We got a studio together. Um, uh, by the MTSU campus, and uh, it's just really just our house, our living room there in Murfreesboro, and we put out a 45, and that's how we kind of started the label. You just got to put out a record, and then say you have a label, and there you go. Uh, and then we kept on putting out recordings. This is where we do all the shipping. If I get an order, pull from a 45 box right here, like so. Grab a box, this hand, do some folding, got my tape, I'm good to go. As for do it yourself, I mean, it was uh, it was uh, something, it was by necessity when we started just because it was Dave Singleton and I trying to make do with our part time jobs and whatever money we could put in, we uh, put into the releases. So we didn't really. We didn't really have any extra money to pay for somebody else to do any of it. When we first started out, I was mastering on myself and doing the engineering, and Dave would do the artwork, and uh, and then <laughs> we'd have trouble just getting the the pressings done at the vinyl plant. I think what drives us more than anything is the fact that the music that we're making is really good to, to us and that we really enjoy the style and we really enjoy being in the studio and creating stuff and uh, um, you know making soul music and making I, I've made soul jazz music and um, I think you got to do what you love and we haven't figured out a way to really capitalize on it in a big way but we've been able to sustain ourselves and at least put out records and it's pretty cool to have yourself on vinyl <laughs> GD family here Ziggy showing it all for the cam loving it up <laughs> Yeah.
have at the Genie Soul Studios. We're about to cook some rice and beans. You know, that's the type of thing we do. <laughs> <laughs>